Hypersonic Flight Experiment or HEX was the first test flight in the RLV Technology Demonstration Program of the Indian Space Research Organization The demonstration trials will pave the way for a two-stage-to-orbit fully reusable launch vehicle. HEX was launched on 23 May 2016. Topic Configuration First stage, live, nine ton solid booster S nine. Second stage, dummy scramjet will be used in the future in 2009, an airframe engineering model, axisymmetric proto nose cap after graphitization CC and slow burn rate propellant were completed. Aerodynamic characterization of technology demonstration vehicle was completed at NAL, VSSC and IIST. Computational flow simulation and supersonic combustion in ground testing were also completed. Objectives <inaudible> 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 HEX was the first test flight of a reusable launch vehicle developed by India. The test flight objectives included Validating the aerodynamic design characteristics during hypersonic flight Characterize induced loads during the hypersonic descent through the atmosphere Assess the performance of the carbon fiber used in construction of the nose of the vehicle Demonstrate first stage separation sequencing. Topic launch and flight The hypersonic flight experiment, or HEX, was the first test flight in the RLV technology demonstration program. The RLV TD vehicle was launched from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center on the 23rd of May 2016 at 7 a.m. local time on board an HS9 rocket booster after a successful lift that lasted 91.1 seconds to a height of about 56 kilometers. The RLV TD separated from the 9-ton HS9 booster and further ascended to a height of about 65 kilometers. The RLV TD then began its descent at about Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. The vehicle's navigation, guidance, and control systems accurately steered the vehicle during this phase for a controlled splashdown down to the defined landing spot over the Bay of Bengal, at a distance of about 450 km from Sriharikota, thereby fulfilling its mission objectives. The vehicle was tracked during its flight from ground stations at Sriharikota and a shipborne terminal. The total flight duration from launch to splashdown lasted about 770 seconds. The unit was not planned to be recovered. ISRO plans to construct an airstrip greater than 4 km long in Sriharikota Island in the near future. Critical technologies such as autonomous navigation, guidance and control, reusable thermal protection system, and descent mission management were validated in this flight. See also Reusable launch system <laughs>